is get you a boy back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be taking a look at the my team playbook and specifically talking about the cards coming into my team tomorrow reading through this then breaking down my thoughts on it now initial thoughts 100 overall kareem we'll see what that's all about galaxy opal Giannis brawn with galaxy opal starters pink diamond reserves uh for everybody and then you guys can see this set so again that's just a brief overview i i haven't looked into it too much yet so we're gonna be reading through it talking about it in all of those things let's get into what to expect from this week 100 overall player card kareem abdul jabbar what is this Headline speaks for itself. One of the greatest to ever play in the NBA is debuting first ever 100 overall player card. Kareem's influence and legacy, okay, all that is awesome. But what does 100 overall mean? We are stretching beyond the 99 overall rated dark matter cards and bringing the newest top overall. 100 overall Kareem will be able to do everything on the court. There is no version of Kareem there, there, there's no card this version of Kareem can't defend and likely very few that can stop him. Um, so I'm confused here. I'm, 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 I'm confused here. Um, and, and it might be a my fault, my problem type of thing. But it stretches beyond dark matter cards. Um, does this mean Kareem's gonna have an invincible? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I guess we'll see what this is like. But 100 overall, stretching beyond dark matter. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Obviously, he's in packs and boxes. Special insert in packs and boxes, so not available via the player market. Nice, 2K. Nice. Probably not even going to be able to buy him like Michael Beasley last week. Nice, 2K. Then you see the NBA All-Star. Obviously, 100 overall Kareem. You guys can see him. First Galaxy Opal player cards are also coming to my team. So my question is this. Why are Galaxy Opals debuting tomorrow as well as 100 overall? It doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Uh, NBA uh, 10 starters, all of them Galaxy Opals. Look for these powerful versions of, of former MVPs, including Bronny, Giannis, Katie, Embiid, and Jokic. All available in packs and boxes. So you guys can see Galaxy Opal Giannis, Galaxy Opal Braun, Halliburton, Jokic, Embiid, Luka, Tatum, KD, Lillard, and Shea. Shea's going to be probably the best point in the game. Braun, probably best power forward outside of probably this Kareem. Braun, maybe the best a small forward in the game. The NBA All-Star Reserves make up the rest of this epic 26-player card set. Each rated as a pink diamond. Look for Steph Curry, Paul George, Donovan Mitchell, and AD, and a dozen more in the player market and pack market starting on Friday. Collect all the pink diamond reserves to complete their collection for a Galaxy Opal All-Star starter. One Galaxy Opal starter? So is it like an option, a choice pack? I'm just a little bit confused. Um, so uh, the Opals are only available in packs and uh, packs in boxes, so not available via the player market but then you lock in the pink diamonds for one galaxy opal i don't know uh again the reward you guys can see the nba all-star reserves collection galaxy opal nba all-star starter is it going to be an option pack how does that work and then the nba all-star special inserts so all of the galaxy opals are just special inserts in packs nice nice lovely 2k absolutely lovely everything is behind a paywall come tomorrow everything the, the player market is basically useless tomorrow i'm gonna i'm gonna tell it how it is yes for the pink pink diamonds it might be nice like d-book might be nice Kawhi might be nice but like the galaxy opals the player market's useless for them you literally can't even get the galaxy opals with the player market unless you lock in all of these guys you gotta gamble on packs to have success now if if, if packs with mt like if you can get a lot of packs with mt and they're not that bad whatever but it's still all gambling and i just don't know if i can get behind it fully so again yeah, that's what's to expect am i a big fan of this um i don't know i don't know because to me, it just seems like a big paywall type of thing, you know? And, and that's the one thing I don't know if I can get behind. Obviously, the 100 overall Kareem, I don't even know what that is. If he's like an invincible, he's going to literally break the game. He will. Uh, and then obviously, to get a, even a Galaxy Opal, Giannis, Braun, they're hard to get. I just don't know. I do not know how I feel about the All-Star. Yes, you're getting a lot of talent. Like, 
Even, even if you want to talk about Bam as a pink diamond, he's going to be elite. You want to talk about Kawhi, Paolo, Paul George, D-Book as pink diamonds, they're going to be elite. But to get a Galaxy up or this 100 overall, it looks like it's all just special inserts, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Obviously, you get Jason Richardson for finishing the uh, the, the, the Pat to All-Star stuff, which is fine. NBA Series 2, Galaxy Up 100 overall player cards are coming to mind on Friday, but you can also look forward to adding the adding the second collection of cards featuring the current NBA roster of your collection, ranging from gold to pink diamond cards. So nice. They're going to be available in packs as well. So when you rip packs and you see a pink diamond, imagine you think it's Luka Doncic and you get the Series 2 Luka Doncic. Just know that's going to happen. Uh, it's just going to be so, 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 so sad. I, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know if I can sit here and get behind that. Cobb, you get Pink Diamond, Elton Brand. He has potential. If 2K makes him right, he could be really, really solid. But again, are, are people really going to be excited for Elton Brand? Like, are they going to be excited for Elton Brand as a Pink Diamond when there's a ton of Galaxy Opals and there's 100 overall in my team? Probably not, and, and and I'm sorry, but that's just probably the way it's gonna be. Obviously, Pink Diamond, George Carl in uh, in the pack market. I just don't know about this. I, I I I'm sorry, 2K, but I just don't know if I can get behind this. And, and again, we'll see. I don't want to judge anything until this comes out. But if you think this does not look like a spend all your money in the game, I don't know what to tell you. The only basically guys that you can buy via the player market are Pink Diamonds. Which, I mean, at least there are going to be some steals in there. But, like, when it comes to Galaxy, Opal, and Braun, you basically have to gamble on packs to get them. I mean, at least both of them, uh, the way it looks, because uh, you're locking all these peak diamonds, you're guaranteed one Galaxy, Opal, All-Star, Star. What I would like to see is this. Make these a grind. And maybe there, maybe 2K's got something in store. But I would like to see 2K make these all a grind. Uh, via via the, uh, maybe it looks like a spotlight sim. You can grind for all these, get them all for free. And then if you get them all... You get a choice, an option pack for a Galaxy Open. That's what I would like to see. If this is the way they want to do things, then that's what I would like to see. But I just don't know if I can get behind it. And then this 100 overall, again, if he's buyable v with VC, it changes things a little bit. But it's like, you basically got to gamble to get Kareem as well, it looks like. And I just don't know if I'm a big fan of that. So that's just kind of where I'm at right now. Again, if you can buy them with VC all the Galaxy Opals, it's going to make things a little better. But I just don't know about this set heading into tomorrow. I mean, the talent is obviously there. But I think you're going to have to spend a lot of money to get the top cards come tomorrow. It's where I'm at. It's my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on this drop down below in the comments. Because as it stands right now, again, I just think it's 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 such a just money grab. And, 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 and the fact that they're like saying like the player market is basically becoming useless for all the Galaxy Opals and above. I just don't know if I personally can get behind all that. So that's where I'm at. Again, you guys can let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. My prediction is the pink diamonds. I mean, again, there's going to be some prices with them. I'm hoping they level them up. So like, let's say Tyrese, Maxi, and Cat are relatively cheap because they're not that great. Then a guy like PG, Jalen Brown, or PG like Bon Carroll, Kawhi might be a little more expensive. That way, some of the pink diamonds might be relatively cheap tomorrow. I don't know. I'm just, I'm grasping at straws at this point. This does not look great heading into tomorrow. But again, I'm not going to judge it until it's finally out. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. As always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.